it's Minnie and welcome to my channel Colors of Lily. I want to share with you how I made my very own compost trash can just in case you want to make one too. You will need a trash can to hold the compost, a drill with a large bit for holes, blocks to park your trash can on, and a compost starter is optional. The first step is to buy a large trash can with a tight fitting lid. A 32 gallon trash can is a great size and I like the trash can with the wheels which makes it easier to move the trash can around the yard to add leaves and remove some of the compost to add to soil. Next is to drill holes in the trash can all over the trash can about 6 inches apart. Now, I didn't really measure, but I just put holes everywhere. The holes provide airflow and oxygen necessary to aid in the composting process. Make sure you drill holes on the bottom and the top of the trash can as well. Now position the blocks in a convenient place to park your trash can on. Parking the compost trash can on blocks or bricks can really help the air circulate under the trash can and can aid in composting. It's really that simple to start your compost trash can. Now is the time to add four parts brown and one part green plant-based organic materials to start the composting process. I like to add my browns first. There are plenty of fall leaves on the ground for me to start with. I simply rake the leaves in my yard and add the leaves to the trash can. And there I am starting my compost pile. Browns are carbon rich items like the dry leaves I'm raking, grasses, newspaper, dead plant clippings, wood branches, hay, straw, sawdust and pine needles. I like to wet my leaves before I add my green. I just want them wet because they're so bulky when they're dry. Sometimes when you add water they can kind of um, push them down a little more. Yeah. And when I add my greens I add household food items from my countertop compost bin. Now you can check the description box because I'll have a link there if you want to um, look into getting a kind of top compost bin. Greens are the wet and nitrogen rich items like fruit and veggie peels, spoiled produce, grass clippings, food scraps, coffee grounds, tea bags, and fresh leaves. Remember the 4 to 1 ratio. If there are too many browns, the compost process can be very slow and dry. You'll need to add more greens and water. Now if you add too many greens to your compost pile, the pile will stay too wet and start to smell really bad. You will need to add more browns. The compost pile will fail if the process isn't corrected. I also add Compost Plus Compost Maker to help speed up the composting process. In addition to the greens, browns, and moisture, the compost also needs aerating to provide oxygen to the pile. I typically use a rake to turn my compost pile, mainly because I like to see what's going on in there. Now you can lay the trash can on its side and roll it around a few times to mix up your compost pile. Now the compost is ready to use when it's a dark brown crumbly and has an overall uniform appearance. I turn my other compost trash bin and pull up some of the brown goodness up towards the top so that you can see it. Now when it's all like the dark brown pieces then you know the compost is ready to use. I will even dig deep and pull some out to use if I need it. You can use the compost as a soil amendment to add nutrients to soil before planting, as mulch around your plants, flowers and shrubs, or when you're 
planting a potted plant, you can use it to add to your soil. Compost is an organic material that has decomposed and broken down into nutrients that plants can use. A compost bin helps to speed up the process by deliberately combining the necessary ingredients, the organic material, moisture, oxygen, and bacteria to help you have wonderful brown goodness, which is compost. Now, a couple of things I must tell you about composting. Do not add meat or dairy products to your compost pile. They will spoil, smell bad, and attract pests, and you do not want that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me showing you how to start your very own trash can compost pile. Now, I enjoy mine. It's better To me, it's better than it just being out on the ground. I have a little more control over it, and like I said, I can move it wherever I need to have compost. So it's kind of um, mobile, <laughs> if you know what I mean. So let me know if you like the video by liking it. And then if you are composting using a trash can compost, let me know that as well down in the comment section of what you enjoy about it. And if you are getting ready to start one, and if you start one using these simple directions, please let me know down in the comment section. I'd really be interested to know. Y'all have an amazing day, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.